and hi guys and welcome to this reaction to space marine 2 new trailer out of nowhere literally guys because i just have not seen this uh in the official channels if you have seen it okay but i haven't but it is legit guys because of course we can tell and i have put the link down below to the source of the trailer so if you want to go and see that and ask this person how the heck did he find this you know be my guest but for now we're just gonna see it together and talk about the game of course and what new footage there is right here so without further ado i'm gonna put another one right here for a future short so without further ado guys let's see it We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. Here they engaged us on two planets, Avarax and Kadaku. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Tyranids! My pledge is a ton of service. Xenos inbound! Eviscerate this abomination! Come forth and be slaughtered! amazing yeah i know that my volume was a little low compared to the trailer but i wanted to let let it play for the we're most part so yeah we're going to see it again we're going to talk over it but yeah this is actually one of the best trailers and it's really impressive what they show here so we're going to discuss now the first thing that stands out to me of course is that we are seeing a bit more of space and how a cathedral ship really looks like all the details that you know it's just amazing just look at it you know yeah we need so so much to have a real triple a 40k game because we just get th these little games that i appreciate but guys 40k is one of the best written universes ever and it deserves the big budgets and all because that is the only way that we can ever get to see the full glory of the 40 uh, 40 <laughs> of the 40k universe so it just um, feast for the eyes that is what it is so that is what makes an impression on me then of course we see the tree logos and once again guys if you have found the trailer anywhere on the official pages let me know because i really didn't see it i don't know now that i checked absolutely everywhere oh sorry hit the mic but on on the focus entertainment one i didn't see it so yeah it should be there anyway so there is something about captain titus being reinstated that's not okay that's very strange i don't know what is the point of that plot subplot whatever it is but it's gonna be interesting to see like who can have any uh any anything against captain titus being reinstated is it because he crossed the rubicon and now he's a primaris marine i don't know which is very strange put the audio a bit higher hopefully it's not higher than me so there are going to be these vast space levels maybe i'm not sure because they have to do the game in a way that three players are going to be able to play the game and in the same time to have all the amazing settings that we're going to be playing in like look at that 
everything has to be smooth in order for us to get the best gameplay experience all the blood that's gonna be splattering on the screen all the carnage of tyrannus that has to uh, spend a lot of uh, gpu and <laughs> cpu power you know so hopefully they optimize it and actually that is why the game is so delayed and we were supposed to get it like right now at this time of year but we instead are going to get it at the end of the year and as you know guys i asked you before what do you what do you think about this delay but then again uh you know every every time when a game is delayed and they actually deliver and improve upon it we have a better product for it and we are not that sad and angry that our game that we waited for so so long is screwed <laughs> so if it's not screwed that's gonna be amazing okay continuing here so emphasis on space really in this game if we can like i don't know play with a ship like drive a ship not sure if that's possible but uh, that's gonna be great it's welcomed in my opinion now every time that I see a space marine getting sued up, that's always one of the coolest things ever. Of course we saw that before. Kinda it has not seemed like the Tyranids like falling from the sky exactly this shot maybe. This shot maybe, but still cool. This is very impactful. Absolutely. So unleash devastation, that's <laughs> that's just very well put. Hitting the Tyranids like in mass. Who doesn't want that? They're just kind of it anyway. <laughs> and yeah, this is amazing. Do you feel the power of a space marine just crashing something like that? I mean, something disgusting and living. It's always a plus, really. I will not feel any remorse or regret crashing Tyranids. Uh, if, um, yeah, <laughs> I actually never felt that for the orcs, but here even less. Oh so yeah. It's like killing a ton of aliens from, I mean, Alien and the Predator movies, that kind of a thing. Although, I don't know, I mean, if this alien has his own mind and he can think for himself and, you know, Tyranids have a hive mind, so I have a bit more respect for alien, let's say. Although, the Tyranids by themselves, they're just an extreme threat, one that's much worse than alien. But anyway, you can compare them, I also compared them before. But uh, here's what impressed me the most, it is this shot right here, because we actually see that we are going to fly in space, at least with our own freaking suits, which is great. We did that in uh, Space Marine 1, but it was just like, you know, in the planet, we never got to do that outside in space or anything like that, so this is freaking amazing. If uh, this is the only time we are flying in space, I'm still going to be happy with that. Cannot complain. I guess maybe this is going to be a sequence where we just avoid debris or something, but hopefully it's a bit better than that. I mean, we've seen such sequences in games all the time since Uncharted and God of War and yeah. It's good to have them. I mean, they always make the game better, but if we can actually do something more there and have more freedom of movement, that's going to be great. And that just looks like someone that's looking at the strategy game map and just shooting on it. <laughs> that's really how it looks like. It's just great. Okay. Then, uh, of course, we get this white shot. And we are apparently going to have a hammer, which is also good. It's a war hammer <laughs> game, of course. And I really love all the, you know, all the decorations of the armor are always... No matter which chapter it is, but especially the Roman-like style of uh, ornaments, just the decoration on the Ultramarines armor is always something to behold. And uh, Cato Sicarius, maybe, <laughs> if he appears right here, he has a very cool armor as well. Um, this golf trailer came out 10 months ago. Sorry, I haven't seen it. I covered everything else. I haven't seen this. Uh, and it said a few days ago uh, when I discovered it. So I discovered it now, okay. You know, I literally did. Uh, and okay, that, that is cool. And yeah, those are things that are still like new to me. And I haven't seen that. They showed like maybe a second of each of these shots, but this uh, whole trailer is uh, giving us a lot more here 
So guys, if this came out, I don't know how I missed it, but I really saw it today and I saw that it was uploaded a few days back. So there is that. I haven't covered it anyways, I'm covering it now. Uh, there seems to be a lot of distraction in the world, which is also always uh, welcomed. And uh, yeah, I haven't also seen this. This winter, I know that it's gonna be like winter or fall or something. I haven't seen this screen as well. So yeah, that's what I thought that it's uh, new. Uh, but maybe that's gonna explain why it's not on the official channels because maybe there was, I mean, it was there already, who knows. But yeah, guys, I don't know who's gonna be able to afford this to pre-order the, pre the, the collection edition. It looks cool and all. I would have preferred like a whole statue of the full figure, not only missing the legs, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it, it's cool anyway, guys. But yeah, Space Marine this winter is my most anticipated game of the whole uh, of the whole year. I cannot think of any other game. Oh, actually, Assassin's Creed Red. But yeah, between those two, that is my number one game. Which is saying a lot, because Assassin's Creed is still one of my most favorite franchises ever. No matter how it changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're excited for this game? Maybe I will see you online in it? Yeah, you can. You can, I will also, you know, play it through and through, stream it like I did with Space Marine 1, which is 2023 or the end of 2022, I don't remember anymore. Uh, and me and my friend Logan started playing it as well recently just to see his reaction because he never played Space Marine and um, I'm introducing him to Warhammer. <laughs> continuously, so it was interesting to see his reaction as well. But anyway, guys. Waiting for this game for sure. And of course, uh, we are going to see each other probably in the weekend if possible. Me and Logan have to play Dragon's Dogma a bit more. I gotta get back to Total War Warhammer and see what I can do there as well. Because I haven't played that for ages. And I haven't tried the previous DLC. And now we have a new one coming. Jesus. And of course, guys, as always, if you like to uh, get something out of your support, I'm coaching at OnlyFans. I'm using it for non slaneshi things, as you know. Uh, basically, what you see here, you know, health, person, uh, personal, <laughs> personal attention, probably. You can say that uh, for me, and of course, everything that I can help you with fitness, health, nutrition, your intimate relationships, my own physique updates, which I'm using again to showcase what the heck I'm doing with my current shape and why I am I am I doing it yeah I mean how am I achieving that so everything is there and of course there's always patreon and paypal but with that being said guys it's super late in my country I gotta go to bed I love ya and hopefully yeah we'll see each other on the weekend for some for some fun gaming time love ya